Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And in this video today, we are going to be taking a detailed look at the two different versions of London's Gatwick Airport. Now, for those of you who watch the channel regularly, obviously flying EasyJet operations, London Gatwick is a major hub in the UK. So it's an airport that I fly into and out of quite a lot on the stream. However, recently we've been having a few issues. If you followed any of our recent live streams into or out of London Gatwick, you'll probably have seen a crash to desktop. Since its initial release, we have always been using the amazing freeware London Gatwick scenery that has been available on flightsim.to. There's three different versions of this available, and because I currently only have a mid-range PC with streaming as well, I've always used the lowest spec version of the London Gatwick scenery. Sadly though, this hasn't prevented my PC having a crash to desktop, which many of you will have already witnessed over the last few months, because the scenery itself seems to have gotten so intense, it's just really difficult. And this isn't just me that's experienced this, I hear from many users saying that the freeware Gatwick, as stunning and amazing as it is, always slows down people's simulators because it is really demanding on the hardware. Not wanting to abandon London Gatwick in our streams though, there is an alternative, and that is the London Gatwick scenery payware version available from Origami Studios. Many people have reported that this scenery, whilst perhaps not quite as amazing as the freeware, is much more stable and less demanding, so potentially this could be the way forward if you enjoy London Gatwick but are having issues. Let's have a look at this payware version. And the visuals that you're seeing now here on the screen are the Payware Origami Studios edition of London Gatwick. In creating this video, this was actually the first time that I had seen this scenery as I'd only recently gone and purchased it. To be honest with you, I was actually rather impressed. I had heard not so many great things about this compared to the freeware version, but in terms of what I'm seeing here, it actually does look really good and easily stands proudly alongside any other Payware scenery that is out there for Microsoft Flight Simulator. In terms of performance though, I now want to go and put this to a test and then go and compare that alongside the freeware Gatwick that we have been using for some time now. So this is the Origami Studios payware version of London Gatwick and to make this a fair test I have made sure that we haven't got any limiters on at frame rates, we've got clear skies and no other traffic in the simulator and as you can see at the moment it's holding pretty steady at around 34 frames. Now, when we compare that to the freeware London Gatwick, we can see that it is pretty similar under certain conditions. Okay, we've lost an extra frame or so, but that's really neither here nor there. Going back to the payware version, and this time we've added in some VATSIM traffic. Now, actually this works out really nicely for this comparison video, because at the time of filming this, London controller Jamie was departing out of London Gatwick, and it also meant that he had lots of followers flying alongside him. So this really helped to try and test the scenery in question. We've got 35 frames holding here, and then in the freeware version of London Gatwick with the VATSIM traffic, you'll see we're as down as far as 28, 29 at times. So the extra drain on the resources of this scenery plus the VATSIM traffic is starting to take its toll. The next big test then would be VATSIM traffic plus some live weather. And it was a rather cloudy day today in London Gatwick. So when we get the live weather turned on, this is the payware scenery from Origami Studios. You can see we're holding 31, 32 frames. Now let's add the live weather into the freeware London Gatwick with the VATSIM traffic. And you can see those clouds really are helping take quite a hit, dropping those frames down to around 27, 28. Inside the fly-by-wire, we also have frames as low as 24, 25 at times in the freeware scenery. Yet back in the payware version from Origami Studios, we have them a little bit higher when stationary. Of course, they drop when panning around, similar sort of thing, but they seem to bring themselves back up quite neatly to around 34, 35. 
So, which version of London Gatwick is best? Well, that's kind of hard to say, and it really will depend upon your own PC hardware. For me, on a mid-spec PC, I'm kind of leaning towards the payware version from Origami Studios, and we'll be seeing this on stream soon, so we really will put that to the test when we're uh, doing live streams with Vatsim traffic, things like that, really making my PC work, and hopefully we won't experience any of the crash to desktops that we've been experiencing experiencing with the freeware version. Let me know in the comments down below how you have gotten on, if particularly if you have both of these versions of London Gatwick, which one you prefer and why, which one you find most stable for your level of hardware. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you an insight into which version of London Gatwick is right for you. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye for now.